ನೆಲ ಅದ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ನೀನೇರುವ ಮಲೆ ಸಶಾದ್ರಿ ನೀ ಮೆಟ್ಟುವ ನೆಲ ಅದ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ನೀನೇರುವ ಮಲೆ ಸಶಾದ್ರಿ ನೀ ಮೆಟ್ಟುವ ನೆಲ ಅದೆ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ನೀನೇರುವ ಮಲೆ ಸಹ್ಯಾದ್ರಿ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರಕವಿ ಕುವೆಂಪು ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ರಿಟನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಗ್ಲೋರಿಯಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವೆಸ್ಟರ್ನ್ ಗಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಕನ್ನಡ ಪೋಯೆಟ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪ್ರೇಸ್ ದ ವೆಸ್ಟರ್ನ್ ಗಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಕ್ರೌನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಮೋಷನಲಿ ಸಿಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಕನ್ನಡಿಗಾಸ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಜಿಯೋಗ್ರಾಫಿಕಲ್ ನೇಚರ್ Amidst of western ghats the heartland with abundant greenery along the banks of Badra river and with series of mountain peaks lies the inexplicable manifestation of nature Badra wildlife sanctuary it is situated in the midst of western ghat regions of Chikmagalur Nasimrajapura and Tarikere taluks of Chikmagalur district and Badravati Taluk of Shimoga district of Karnataka spreading across an area of about 500 square kilometers Badra wildlife sanctuary has magnificent landscapes and Shola grassland biome it is a sample of world's major habitat and ecosystem being the signpost of tropical biological richness it is a living museum and a natural laboratory Badra Wildlife Sanctuary was attained greater significance as it is identified as one of the two ecological and biological hotspots in India. The area was first declared as Jagra Valley Wildlife Sanctuary in 1951 by the then government of Mysore covering an area of 77.45 square kilometers. It was later renamed as Badra Wildlife Sanctuary in 1974. 24 years later, in 1998, this gift of Mother Nature is declared as the 25th Tiger Reserve of India and was brought under the Project Tiger program. The sanctuary is a part of Sayyadri Hill Ranges and constitutes a geographic barrier between the coastal areas and the hinterland. For ages this has segregated people and has given protection to the coastal areas its wealth its culture and traditions from casual invasion by the strong ruling polity of the plain areas the track is replete with fascinating natural beauty it is clad with thick forests delightful dales shining streams and brooks narrow valleys and glades and abundant iron ore deposits the sanctuary has been divided into four ranges called muttodi hebbe lakkavalli and thanigebailu wildlife range the area consists of most undulating terrains with valley and steep hillocks the altitude varies from 650 meters to 1875 meters above mean sea level the highest peak in the sanctuary is kallathagiri peak with a height of 1875 meters mullayanagiri the highest peak in karnataka and also the second highest in south india with the height of 1914 meters in the baba budangiri range near the southeast edge of the sanctuary is the highest peak between the himalayas and the nilgiris jagra valley is also popularly known as saucer shaped valley the sanctuary is surrounded by the scenic hills and steep slopes of the mullayanagiri hebbegiri gangegiri and baba budangiri hills the biotic factors and edaphic variations have played a dominant role in determining forest growth in the sanctuary area The prevailing type of forest is climatic climax mainly constituting southern moist mixed deciduous forest in Muttodi and Lakkavalli 
and southern dry mixed deciduous forests in Aldara and Kundur area as per Champion and Sates classification. The forests of semi-evergreen type are found in Baba Budangiri forest which are called Sholas. The Sholas are found even outside the 22 hill slopes of Baba Budangiri. The Shola forests are a treasure of medicinal plants. The sanctuary has swampy patches with pure tall grass which are called hudlus. Rainfall is quite heavy and is not evenly distributed in the sanctuary area. Muttodi and Hebe ranges receive higher rainfall than Lakawalli and Tanigabailo ranges. Almost 80% of the rain is received from southwest monsoon. Northeast monsoon becomes very weak by the time it traverses the Deccan Plateau. There are 72 waterholes scattered all over the sanctuary. This is well drained by Badra River and its tributaries. Badra is the main river with the perennial tributaries like Somawahini, Thadabehalla, Hippalahalla, Watehalla, Odirayanahalla, Jenuhalla, Hallalla, Anegundihalla, Shivanehalla, Naisattahalla, Nirahalla, and Mavinahalla, which are the main sources of water besides the Badra backwater spread. The entire western side of Badra Wildlife Sanctuary is surrounded by the Badra River and its water spread. While flowing, these tributaries creates numerous numbers of waterfalls in the sanctuary. This engrossing landscape and climatic conditions makes suitable place for variety of creatures and plant species. Badra supports more than 120 plant species. It is the habitat of valuable teak and rosewood. The sanctuary has commercial timber like Matti, Honne, Nandi, Tadasalu and Kindao. There are extensive teak plantations in the sanctuary which were raised in the past by clear felling of forests. Soil and moisture conditions favor dense growth of weeds like Lantana camera, Eupatorium odoratum, Parthenium hysterophorus, Cypadesa fruticosa, etc. In all teak plantations, the undergrowth in forest and forest openings are infested with these weeds. These weeds normally do not allow any regeneration or grasses to grow under them, duly suppressing them. Jagara giant A huge teak tree which stands as a living monument is the center of attraction in Muttodi reserves having a mid girth of 5.1 meters an approximate height of 32 meters the approximate age of the tree may be 400 years old the legendary animals are in plenty in this region the sanctuary is endowed with a rich diversity and abundance of animal life there are 42 species of larger mammals, over 264 species of birds, 43 species of reptiles, 18 species of amphibians, 7 species of fishes, 56 species of butterflies and 7 species of insects. They appear in various schedules of the Wildlife Protection Act, indicating their endangeredness. The emphatic cats rule Badra, therefore it is identified as a tiger reserve. About 46 tigers are found in Badra. Visiting forest is truly homecoming for the humans. The human existence in and around the forest region is mostly threat to the existence of plants and animals. In the name of development, the forest wealth is stolen and destroyed. Badra is the first tiger reserve in the country to complete a successful village relocation program. Human or animals are fueled by emotions and nostalgia. It is natural that humans get agitated when they are asked to leave their homeland. 
nearly 1,000 families are convinced to relocate to make the way to animals. The original relocation plan was introduced in 1974 and was implemented completely by 2002 when the 26 villages in the sanctuary were successfully relocated to MC Harley and Kalaguru, which is about 50 kilometers from the sanctuary. The 53 kilometers drive from one end of the sanctuary to the other end has only wildlife, no people, villages and cattle to disturb nature. The forest department involved in habitat improvement, boundary consolidation, protection against poaching and fires and human attacks. Jeep and foot patrolling is one of the traditionally easiest way to keep an eye on the forest. There are some places the man-made locomotives cannot reach. Sometimes the climatic conditions makes patrolling back-breaking. To protect the richness of Badra, the Huli software is used effectively as camera tracking method. Huli is a habitat tracking system. It is an indigenously developed Android-based app. The purpose of this application is to communicate and collect all the vital information of the habitat. This mobile application is used for vigorous monitoring and better coordination of anti-poaching camp personnel at Badra. During rainy season, more protection is given as the poaching and hunting increases. Badra attracts tourists with its enthralling landscape and the climatic conditions. The mountain peaks are center of attraction for the city dweller in the weekends. Badra acts as a cradle of life for the variety of birds during summer. The jungle lodges and resorts have started to establish their resorts on the bank of Badra Reservoir. Boating facilities may be provided to tourists in Badra backwaters which facilitate to watch the wildlife. Nature camps provide outdoor recreation and conservation education for urban and local school children. They offer a unique opportunity to instill love and concern for nature at a young and impressionable age. The towering mountains, winding river and open grassland bonded the human being and the forest. The gift of Mother Nature is difficult to comprehend. The one such gift Badra stands high as the place of biodiversity and the tourist hotspot.